from the Bakersfield, California. And this is the Renegade Report. Now, here's your host, Francis Mayer. Good morning, everybody. I'm Francis Mayer, Sports Information Director for the greatest athletic department in the known universe, BC Athletics. Today, we're going to be talking about football, highs and lows. Your Bakersfield College football team has reached an 0-5 record for the first time in the history of the program. BC Athletics founded back in 1923. Uh, Our football program uh, used to play down at Griffith Field with leather helmets on. Uh, when they would call you giant if you weighed 190 pounds, right? Bob Hodell, owner of uh, one of the great fan- friends of the athletic program, Hodell's um, off Olive Drive. He was a lineman, okay? I don't know if you've ever met Bob Hodell. And if you haven't, you're missing out. He's one of the good guys. But he weighs like, I, I think he told me he played at 185 pounds and he played tackle because they played both ways. Lugo, I mean, a kicker, might weigh 185 pounds now, right? I mean, maybe then. Right? Maybe more. Cool. Uh, we're hanging out with Stephanie Lugo right now, um, recently of the Bakersfield College volleyball team, formerly of what I like to call Garces Memorial <laughs> High School. Yes. Is that the official name? Yeah, that is the official name. It was named after a priest who originally founded it, so it's the official name. Garces yeah, I think he's hanging, out, he's hanging out in the traffic circle, right? Oh. Uh. No, <laughs> but kind of. He's up in heaven. Oh, the, oh, I'm sorry. I, but I meant there's a statue of him hanging out in the Garth's Traffic Circle. Yeah, there's a statue dedicated yeah. to him in yeah. the Traffic Circle. Very yes. good. But l- let's talk about you for a minute. First of all, you are one of? Uh, the VC volleyball team. No. Oh, We're family. going deeper. <laughs> you're, fam, you're fan band. I'm one of 10 kids, yes. And um, that's not a joke. No, that same mom, same dad, one of 10 Big Catholic family, you know, very traditional. Straight up amazing. <laughs> yeah. And your family picture, it's not a vertical, it's a horizontal. Yeah, they don't they don't fit us vertical anymore, so they have to put us horizontal. <laughs> so um, all panorama, you know. No, but it's like taking a team photo. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, you'll have one person smile, one person's eyes closed, one kid's running off, you grab them. <laughs> <laughs> kind of have to go with the flow. And where does Stephanie fit into that? I'm the third, so there's twins older than me, and then I'm the third oldest. So. And who's the youngest? The youngest is Isabella, and she's three years old. Okay, I don't believe that you know all their names. Go, start with the twins. Okay, so it's Catherine, Elizabeth, Stephanie, Gabby, Colby, Jacob, Margaret, Annalena, Dominic, Isabella. Wow, well, that, that was 10. Very good. <laughs> all right. I know. They're my siblings. <laughs> and how old is the youngest? The youngest, Isabella. She's three. Wow, that is just incredible. So you've long known how to get along with other people, and that's something that you bring to the BC volleyball team. You are kind of a team. Well, I, you are a, you're what we call a program player. You're a good student. Uh, you follow Coach Ferrer's instructions. Um, the other day, you come up to me and you're wearing uh, a full length sleeve on your leg because you had a, you, we, well, allegedly you had an knee injury. You're bounding <laughs> up the stairs in the Bakersfield, <laughs> Californian building like nothing's wrong at all. And and we're talking in practice, and you're like telling me about this injury that is a Dr. Tivnon type injury, by the way. I don't want to get, and she can tell you what it was if she wants to. But you tell me about it, and you're smiling the whole time, and you're like, there were tears, but I'm okay now. Hey, I should probably go cheer on my teammates. <laughs> and then there you were off fetching balls for them. Well, I mean, I did. I tore my ACL, PCL, and lateral meniscus, so it's pretty much <laughs> everything, and the knee is gone. But um, Coach Carl's taught me so much more. It's not just the physical aspect of the game that you bring. It's the 100-0. It's what can you do for your teammates. Like, you can pick them up. Somebody's going to have an off day. Not everybody's always going to be on, and you have to be there to pick up the other girls. You have to just have a giving spirit. You have to love each other. You have to grab each other because it's you, your guys' team. It's your program. It's BC versus whatever other school, anybody we're going to play. And that's the kind of mindset he's taught us, and that's the way you have to be. You have to be giving and giving and giving. You can't expect anything in return. And I feel motivated to go play for Coach Carl. I have to be careful about when I talk to him because when Coach Carl speaks, it's for a reason. Like that dude, he yeah. could be a motivational speaker. He could, let's face easily. it, he could start a cult. Easily, easily, <laughs> easily. He could have everybody be following him and yeah. just be like, what happened? It'd be overnight. <laughs> yeah, it would. I'm a Carlite. <laughs> that actually has a ring. It, so, I mean. Oh, whoa. I don't know. I'll handle the marketing of the cult. Coach Carl will handle the leadership. I'll be following him. Yes, I I know you will. (laughs) And you've even talked about uh, there's some disappointment 
but you've talked about maybe how this was meant to be and how you can turn this into a positive. And I always feel like sports are a soap opera, um, especially for men, right? Mm -hmm. Men won't watch a soap opera, but they'll get all involved with the football team. No, dude, Casey's not playing. His dad died last weekend. He's on bereavement leave. Like, they really get into it. You know what I mean? Um, and, And so you feel like there's still ways that you can help the team, that you feel like there's still ways that you can be involved. But now you're telling me, well, I, what I was thinking of doing, because there's so much to learn from Carl, and I, I haven't even scratched the surface, I was thinking of staying another year, fall semester next year, after my surgery, and be a practice player so I can continue to contribute to the Bakersfield College program and the atmosphere, and it, it's just like a family there, you know, and I, and you know, like, my knee gave me a reason to stay longer, but honestly, it's kind of a blessing because I wanted to stay longer. I don't want to leave BC. People ask, you went to BC, and it's like, no, I went to BC. I go to BC. Straight up. So be yes. proud about it. No, you should be proud of it because there's not like like Cal State Bakersfield has been around those I, I call them the carpet baggers <laughs> over yonder way. But they've only been here for maybe twenty years. I don't know. I don't care. That's mm-hmm. the thing. Right. But, but then you come over to BC and it's like we have a history that, you know, predates Yeah, a stone legacy, right. like for real. Like that that campus has been up there on the hill since nineteen fifty five. Before that they were at the uh the, the Bakersfield High School campus. By the way, they have a banner they fly at BHS. It's driving me nuts. The school so nice they named the town after it. Oh, yeah. The college so nice <laughs> they yeah. named the oh. town after it. <laughs> yes. Uh. Okay. Very good. Good save, Lugo. <laughs> um, uh, but what I was going to ask you about actually is that y- y- you're talking now about being able to play maybe again. Y- you think you'd be cleared to play? Is that right? Well, so the extent of the damages in my knee is pretty much as far as it could go, other than like a contusion and you know little bit there. Um, I actually have a meeting with uh, Dr. Hamilton tomorrow morning and hopefully get a big brace. And if I get signed off on the trainers and stuff, then I'll be able to play. And hopefully I get signed off so I can play because I, I want to contribute to my team physically. I can still do it mentally, emotionally. I can be there for them. But it's a different kind of bond when you're physically on the court with them or you get to, you know, put the ball away and you get to, like, look at them and be like, I did that for you, you know. It's just... I don't, it overwhelms you, to be honest. It's, just, it's an amazing experience. Lugo, you might want to start your own cult because <laughs> I'm ready to join. Um, <laughs> but, but speaking to the soap opera of sports, like, you, you've had some ups and downs uh, just physically and, and with other things. Um, but, but, but it is a way, sports is very much like life, in that we are going to be judged by how we handle that adversity and how we deal with it because it's a given, you know, unless you're Jack Murphy last season in wrestling, that you're going you're gonna to lose – Mm-hmm. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to get dinged up. But the question is, how do you deal with that? And you had, some, you had some advice from one of your siblings. Maybe not advice, but you had an example. You had a sibling who had an injury and was able to turn that around and continue following her dreams, right? Yeah. Uh, my older sister su- suffered a severe concussion. She forgot her whole sophomore, junior year, and, and she just graduated from Berkeley this year. And <laughs> she's an inspiration. Well, what, mean, what else is she going to do? Well, she, she right now she's a focused missionary working at Fullerton, but she got into Harvard Law out of Berkeley, <laughs> decided to take two years off and do missionary work, and she's an inspiration. And it's like, I have a knee injury. It's like, what, what, why does that hold me back from anything in life? Yeah, it's, she lost two pretty important years of her yeah. life, and she was like, ah, oh, time to move on. Yeah, you know, you don't stop a beat. And that's that's a, another thing that Carl's taught me, you know, it's life happens. You know, what, what are you going to do when life happens, when, when obstacles come Today in your I way? Today I threw a temper tantrum. <laughs> so what are you going to do about it now? Well, that's I'm over, you know? I apologize to Chris McCullough <laughs> because I, he sort of caught the brunt of it. You caught a tail end of it, but I, but I let you, <laughs> right? I offered to carry you up the you stairs. You did. That so was very like, nice. Like, you know, um, but, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rebound from it. I'm going to shake it off and remind myself that nobody's going to die There's a little Taylor this. Swift in there, shake it off. I, yes, I'm, I'm calling on a lot of uh, uh, pop songs right now, actually, to, to get me over. I'll admit it right now, I like Taylor Swift. Oh, I'm a huge fan of Taylor Swift. I've always been a fan. Breakups, makeups, that's my life right there. Yeah? What's a jam? It's, it's, uh, it's a, Taylor Swift is a, is a honest-to-goodness pop star. I, she dated a Kennedy. Um, <laughs> so she has that going for her. Uh, and she makes good music. So breakup, you're talking about your injuries. And then you make yourself up, oh, and then yeah. you get back on the court. Yep. That's what you're talking about. Exactly what I was referring to. Out, outstanding, <laughs> outstanding. Uh, Stephanie, what's the long-term plan for you? Long-term? I got into quite a few high, uh, colleges out of high school, and I wasn't ready to go away, and I wanted to play for Carl. I went to BC. Um, well, I have roll, a lot of roll, options, though. Roll that back for a minute. Like, Bakersfield is unique, right? 
And it, it's Cal- we're in California, but we're like not not California, right? right? Like Santa Monica is California, for example. Um, <laughs> why did you? Why were you not ready to leave yet? Was it was it because you were so is such a cog in your family life? Because I, I imagine when you have ten siblings, like everybody has a job or responsibilities. I, uh, my older sisters were already gone at that point, and I was kind of, I help out my mom a lot, and Isabella at the time, she was only like one years old, and I don't want to miss a beat with them. They're like, they're not my kids, they're, they're my family though, and I want to watch them grow up, I want to be there for like the little stuff. I just wasn't ready, and then when I, I had the amazing opportunity to play for a collegiate, a high level coach at Oregon, coach Pac-12, Carl Ferreira, like I have an amazing opportunity to play for him and stay at home, be in Bakersfield, be a part of this like renegades is a culture and I jumped on that opportunity right away and I I wouldn't regret it at all I would do the same thing yeah and and you know when you look and uh it, and uh, we, we have three children now but I'm working on it catching up with your your very mm, you vigorous know, pops seven to go <laughs> yeah no kidding um but but even when I look forward to paying for three of my children to go to college I'm like whoa whammy like we're gonna have to sell our house and get a condo because it's not cheap anymore. Mm-hmm. And so for you, not only was it a good emotional decision, a spiritual decision, you wanted to be part of the great renegade culture, but also, let's face it, you saved tens of thousands of dollars by coming to BC. Yeah, BC definitely, it, it's financially, it's a smart choice. I had um, almost full rides through academics that I could have taken and gone away with, but even, But Luca, you know, we're not asking everyone to be <laughs> as rad as you are. So I, I, this is an all, what we call an all audiences message. <laughs> Yeah, BC saves money. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so you had academic scholarships? Yeah, I, 75% was paid for, a lot of colleges offered me 75%, but there's still that other 25% that was way over the amount that BC, you know, could ever, right, you know, yeah. like just mind-boggling. I saw somebody post on Facebook the other day on a local news station, and, and by the way, congratulations to Sonia Christian, three more years. Uh, and they were like, well, glad she got a raise. Everything at BC is so expensive. And I yeah. was like, really, bro? You ought to try the Cal system. Like, try to the UC system. Yeah. I mean, that is, that is crazy expensive. I know someone who has a great job here in town. Uh, he, he makes a very earnest six-figure salary. And he told me, he was like, dude, I'm going to be working until I'm dead because his son went to USC and changed majors twice. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he's like, you want to, you, I don't even want to tell you about five years of USC costs. With a meal plan, he wanted to live in the dorms, and my buddy wanted to make it all possible for him. But he's like, whoa. So it's, it's very expensive. W- what do you want to be professionally, though? Like, what is grown-up Stephanie? That, that's uh, grown-up Stephanie, I, I love education. I love higher education. I love the intelligentsia. I want to be, hopefully, get a PhD. So I'll be in school for the next eight to ten years, maybe. I want to get a PhD in business, econ, and hopefully be a professor. That's my plan. Really? But with a PhD, you can, you know, take it anywhere. No, you, you can, absolutely. But econ, huh? Mm-hmm. That's fascinating to you? Yeah, oh, my gosh, I love it. Yeah, it is interesting. It's very interesting. Well, Stephanie, um, I, I, I guess the, the bottom line question, and I feel like you've, you've explained it, but yes or no, are you playing again this season? If you have to predict right now, I know you're not a doctor yet. You will be someday. Call on that future knowledge and tell me, are you going to be cleared to play by Dr. Hamilton? Yes, I, I will be playing. Oh my Whether goodness. I have to beg him or not, I will be playing one way or another. But you told me something. Your eyes were remarkably clear the <laughs> other day, not long after suffering what most athletes would call a catastrophic injury. And I asked you, like, you know, are, are you in pain? And you were like, no, I'm done with the pain meds. <laughs> and what was the doctor telling you? T- t- well, they, they're surprised I was even walking with, like, all the damages that happened. And they wanted me to go back on crutches because I shouldn't be walking. So they're like, we're going to take you off painkillers and all the medicine because that's That'll the only learn, reason. Yeah. They're like, that's the only reason you can walk. And I'm like, you know, take it all away. Take, I, I won't take anything. And I'm still walking. And I'm like, you know, can I play now? Can I play? Like, I will do anything. Let me play, please. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I want to make you put your hand in the pain box on Dune <laughs> and see, like, how long that, that you can that well, I didn't. I didn't cry when I did it. So, I mean, they, that's why nobody thought anything was torn. I didn't cry. I got really shaky, but... What if I showed you a picture of a super cute puppy? Would that make you a little weepy? Oh, or? yeah. I want to hug him. <laughs> <laughs> but blow my knee out, no time for tears. <laughs> but your pops was there, thank goodness. I know oh, he's yeah. a guy mm-hmm. with a ton of demands on his time. Oh, yeah. Uh, but he was there for the game, and he got to help you out. So that's excellent. Well, Stephanie, we, we very much hope uh, that we get to see you on the court again this season, not because not just because you're a hard worker uh, and a talented player, because you're a, a wonderful person. You're a light in the department. Everybody's mm-hmm. always happy to see you. Um, we didn't even get to tell the we story next time. Oh, yeah. So we'll, we'll get into that. Stephanie's a repository of interesting <laughs> trivia and knowledge. Um, and when are you guys back in town again? You're playing Santa Monica? Uh, next uh, Tuesday. What, next Wednesday, we have a game in town. 
I believe. At the Guild Bishop Sports Center. And maybe a little uh, bit of Maybe I'll be playing. Oh. I have a meeting tomorrow, so we'll see. Oh, gosh. Text me. I want to know. <laughs> I'm dying now. This is it. Again, sports, op- uh, sports the, uh, the ultimate soap opera for men. Coming up next, we have the head statistician for BC Athletics, Steve Lynch. We're going to take a look at your Bakersfield College Renegades football team. Uh, we're also going to check in with cheer coach Heather. That and much, much more coming up next on the Renegade Report. <laughs> 